I'm 55, going to be working for another 10 years or so. Um, and I've been in the 401k here for a few years. And what I've done I've recently doing a little bit of research, see that I'm trying to do aggressive investing with my Roth. And um, I realize that it's all in American funds. So what I've done is I've transferred that whole amount that I've got in there. It's only 25K, nothing big, but it's all in money market now. And I've dropped down from my 15% down to four, which is the matching amount that my employer matches, you know, dollar for mm -hmm. dollar. So at least I get that. And it's in money market, so it's safe and somewhat responsible. Yep. Um, and I'm going to be opening a account at uh, Timothy. I'd like to open another Roth at Timothy. And I was just curious on your suggestions, if you will, um, if I should just throw it into, say, a money market for now at Timothy Fund, or should I just use their you know, semi-aggressive investment uh, asset allocation? Um, you know, obviously I'm, yeah. you know, I'm just trying to get as much as I can by the time that I'm old enough to hopefully enjoy it. So. Sure, yeah. You know, what you might want to consider doing, Art, is um, go to a, um, you know, a Fidelity.com, a brokerage online and open a Roth account. You still okay. use Timothy, but um, open, open an account there so that you can uh, participate in the ETFs of Timothy. Now, I know it sounds crazy and people don't understand it. It's too um, hard, not hard, but too long to explain. But so Timothy is a mutual fund company. And even though the ETFs are theirs, they started them, they own them, they invest them, and they, they do everything, but they can't sell them because it falls under ETFs are regulated uh, by the SEC and regulators that regulate individual stocks. Mutual funds is a whole separate animal. So they're a mutual fund company, and the, it is not cost-effective for them to start a brokerage side to their business. Uh, there may be someday, but right now it just isn't um, for the ETFs. So... I would tell you to look at TPSC. That's their small cap fund, uh, the, okay. the, the ETF small cap. I would look at TPSC. I would look at TPIF, which I wouldn't wait too long to start putting a little money into TPIF. That's their international fund. Their international mutual fund was just given an award by Lipper, and that's a, that's a really big thing. It's done very well. And I think their ETF is going to, going to do well. And then the other one is TPLC. So I would like to, for you to focus your monies on those three ETFs with about, now this is fairly aggressive, might not sound it to you, but it is, and that is about 20% of that, in SC and about 15% of it in IF and the rest of it in LC, which is their growth fund, their, their uh, uh, stock fund. So the, the uh, small cap has had a really good run. I think it's going to start to pull back a little bit as small caps seem to be doing. Um, but that's okay. I wouldn't start now. But if you wait until another, maybe the end of March, and start your process by the time you open the account, start getting some money over there, um, that'll probably be a pretty good time. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from nine to noon and you can watch it on fism.tv that's fism.tv